Hi, it's Jane Blundell. In this short video, what I want to talk about is cleaning brushes. And this is something I get asked about a lot. So I just thought I would show briefly um, how I look after brushes. If you're working with watercolour, you don't need to do more than just rinse your brushes with clean water regularly, and then ideally leave them to dry flat. So if they dry flat, rather than up like this, then the water doesn't continue to soak into the ferrule. The thing you want to protect with brushes is this part here, because if water is getting into here, it can basically make this whole part of the handle expand and crack the paint. So when you're washing your brushes, a shallow dish is better, because then the water never gets up into the handle at all. The ferrule protects it. So a shallower dish will protect your brushes, but then a couple of times a year, or you know, whenever it feels like right for you, once a season, you know, whenever, you might want to give them a proper brush. Now I've used this for a long time, a master's brush cleaner and preserver. There are other products on the market, but this has just worked really, really well. And all you need to do is to dampen the brush, it doesn't need to be wet, just damp, and then brush it pressing right down to the ferrule, not pressing hard, but just pressing all the way down to the ferrule so that you coat all of the hairs in the soap. And then I use my fingernail just to gently coax any excess paint out of the, the ferrule and out of the bristles. This brush has been around for a while and it has been used in ink, so it isn't going to come completely clean. But what you can do is actually just leave the brush to soak with the soap in it for a while. Once you've cleaned out as much as you're going to, rinse it, wipe off the excess, and then what you can do if you're going to store the brushes for a little while is to just run them through the brush um, conditioner and preserver and cleaner and reshape them and then put it flat to dry. When you use it again, you rinse off the soap and all is well. Using the same method for a flat brush, you're just working backwards and forwards. I don't tend to go roughly with the brushes and swirl them around. I tend to go backwards and forwards and really work the soap into the bristles. And this is good for synthetic or natural hair brushes. And then rinse. Repeat if you need, and then if you're going to store it for a while, you can reshape it with a little bit of the preserver in it. Now you can just use your regular shampoo and conditioner. So what you'd use for your own hair on natural brushes if you don't want to buy something specifically. Here it is with a, a scrubber brush that's been a little bit stained with the phthalos, and they do tend to stain, but they don't tend to continue to come out in your paints or anything else. However, you can give it a clean every now and then. So this is a synthetic brush that I just use for scrubbing out. And clean it off. I wouldn't bother putting more in to preserve it, but you can see it's still got a little bit of a hint of colour, but that's, that's going to be ready for next use. The other thing that this is really good for is cleaning your palette. Now this one's an enameled palette, but you can see how there's a bit of staining here. So by taking just a little bit of water and a bit of the soap, the preserver, I can clean out that excess colour and take it back to white. And that will work on plastic as well. And then I wipe it over with a clean part of the paper towel. For a larger brush, it's exactly the same process. You're just going to need a little bit more water. And I always just 
gently squeeze out the excess water after I've finished with a brush and reshape it. If your brush is a little old like this one, which I've had for probably 30 years, um, you can also use the, the cleaner to reshape it and just leave it in there. And that will help to reshape the brush so that it's ready for next use. This brush, being old, has actually uh, been worn out. So it no longer has the beautiful tip that the Raphael brushes are so famous for. But it's still useful for mixing colours and so on. So while I don't use it for fine detail, I still keep it and use it for other effects. <laughs> 